What's up guys, Joshua Jacob here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my What Have I Been Warming and Using video to share with you. And um, I'm kind of excited because there's new items in here that I don't typically use. Um, a couple of them being candles. Um, I tend not to burn candles, not because I don't like them, but because we have cats and cats are cats. You know, they jump on counters and tables and things like that. Um, and I just, I don't want to chance them, you know, singeing a tail or an ear or anything like that. So I tend to not use candles often. Um, but these two I really enjoyed. So the first one is Essential Elements by Candlelight Company in Jasmine and Patchouli. And I picked this up at my local grocery store, um, Smith's, it's a Kroger store. Um, and I wasn't sure about it because the first time I went in, and I don't know about y'all, but if there's a wax aisle or candle aisle in a store, I'm there. Like that's where I am the majority of the time, you know, the other one's shopping. I'm gonna sit there or stand there and just smell wax and candles for as long as I can. I just love it. So anyway, I saw these and I wanted to smell them. I'd never seen them before. So, you know, I picked up a couple. They have different ones. There's, you know, lavender and eucalyptus and mahogany and all this other stuff. But this one smells like my Nana's perfume. And it's not in like a, you know, old lady, like grandma floral, lush gardenia, you know, type of perfume. It's, ni it's really nice and fresh and clean, um, slightly florally, just slightly florally from the jasmine, but then the patchouli like really like makes it just nice and warm and um, I don't know, it's just a really nice fragrance. Um, so anyway, I didn't actually buy this the first time I saw it at the store. Um, I, it was $10 and I'm like, well, you know what, I don't really like, I don't burn candles very often so it's not really you know worth it to to buy a candle well the next time i went to smith's it was marked down to two dollars like two one two one two so i got it and like for two dollars yeah i'll get it and i was really pleasantly surprised with it um it had a decent scent throw uh i wrote down notes here let's see it was like a six and a half six six and a half and it was really nice. Um, it didn't have any problems, you know, pulling out, no tunneling or anything like that. Um, and it, it was on for a good four four hours or so. Now, obviously, I didn't go through the whole thing. I, you know, again, like you can see where the line is. It's kind of, ugh, I don't know, it's weird. Um, but I do plan on using this more. It, it was really, really nice. And um, if you can get your hands on this, try it. Um, they're actually not bad candles. The next one is a DW Home Maple Hazelnut Candle. Um, this was purchased actually last year at Marshall's. It's like seven or eight bucks, eight bucks, and totally worth it. Um, this is like the strongest candle that I have ever owned in my entire life. I'm telling you, I leave this, I burn this for maybe an hour, hour and a half, and you can smell it in the whole house. And at that point, for me, it becomes too much, so I turn it off. Um, it was it's, it was really nice it's not like pancake syrup smelling which is I really like that a lot of maple scents to me just smell like pancake syrup and um, I just can't get I just it doesn't work with my nose my anything um, but this one's nice it actually smells more like maple donuts to me with like a little hint of nuttiness hazelnut um, and cinnamon just spices it was a really nice really really strong performer 10 out of 10 I mean super super strong performer i don't know that marshall's will still have this scent i do know they still have or they always have dw home candles if you uh swing by a marshall's or home goods um pick one up they're they're really really great performers so i'm actually really happy with that purchase um so moving on we are going to vendor wax and we'll start with this lone little guy from wonderberry wax co in southern sunshine and Mm, this one's so nice. It is Juicy Florida Oranges and Sweet Georgia Peaches. This one was a fair performer. Um, a five and a half. Five, five and a half, I would say. It's just really nice. So, for me, this reminds me of a drink that I used to get from Kiva Juice. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm sorry. Um, 
it was called I think Gimme Guava. Now this has no Gimme no Guava in it whatsoever. It's just oranges and peaches, but it just that's what the way that tasted is what this smells like, and I love it. Oh, it's so nice. It's so so nice. It's you know just you do get the peach for me is like front and center and then it's just like slightly like tart from the orange oh it's so good so 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 good um i wish this was stronger as far as scent throw goes but still a really good um wax and i really really enjoy it moving right along to destination wax i have coffee espresso macchiato and this one is like my favorite. I still have, like I am stretching this as far as I can because I, I'm not allowed to buy things yet. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So this is rich espresso sweetened with a dash of steamed milk. It is very, very rich. It is almost like buttery. Um, and then you do get just like a creaminess from the steamed milk, um, but really, really nice. Oh, it's so good. Um, Performance-wise, it was it was m medium to m well, it was like a six and a half, seven. Um, but it fizzled out pretty quickly. I had it in my warmers for a day and a half, and after the first, you know, after the day and a half, I couldn't smell it so much um, like I did on the first day. But overall, really nice scent throw initially. I just wish it would have stuck around for a little bit longer. Such a good scent. I'm actually really considering getting like as much of this as I can. I don't know. I've never like purchased purchased like amounts of vendor wax, so I'm like I don't know if it comes in like loaves or like you can get it in different forms. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that because I really really enjoyed it. All right. So next from Destination Wax is banana apple bread, warm banana bread with apple chunks, walnuts, and cinnamon. Um, this one was fair. Um. It's, it is very bakery. It's mostly cinnamon and apples to me, maybe just a hint of a bakery note or a banana bread. I don't get any walnut whatsoever from it, and it was a, it was a pretty strong performer initially, but again, it fizzled out pretty quick. Um, it was, I wrote down an eight, an eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, and it, I mean, it was okay. I just, I wasn't fully ready for this type of bakery note, although the cinnamon and the apple notes really help, um, you know, kind of get me there. I don't know. I'm just still, like, trying to, like, ease my way into bakery. I'm not there for blueberry cheesecake yet, so do not come for me. I'm sorry. It's just, I'm trying. Anyway, a pretty good one. If you uh, have a chance to pick that one up, try it. All right, so next, uh, again from Destination Wax, is Citrus Fizz, and this is freshly squeezed lemon and lime with slices of pineapple and orange, tart and fizzy. Ugh. Ugh. This one is actually, it's like fizzy. Like, I don't know how it's possible to get fizz, like an effervescence into wax, but when you smell it, it's like, it tickles your nose. And then when it's warm, <laughs> when it's warming, it's, this was a really really strong one um this did last about three days um my warmers are generally on from 10 in the morning to about 10 or 11 at night so a good 12 hours and this one did last about three days um i wrote down this was a nine um on scent throw and it's really nice really really nice for summer um like i'm thinking like may uh i would like to have more of this in the um, later spring, early summer. So the next and last one from Destination Wax is Red Currant Rhubarb. Um, red Currant tarted up with grapefruit, pomegranate, and rhubarb. A touch of floral rounds it out. I'm not a fan of this at all. And when I first smelled it, I thought I was. Um, it kind of reminded me of ginger and spruce for some reason. But as y'all know, I have a couple of sinus issues going on right now. Um, and so I think my nose is kind of just messed up. But now, and on warm, no, goodness, no, 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 no. Um, I don't know if that's the current that I'm not liking or if it's, you know, the grapefruit or the rhubarb. I don't know which one I'm not liking, but holy moly, not for me. Um, 
Yeah, I only, I cut it into four and I only warmed one cube or like one little chunk of it for maybe about 30 minutes and I was like, uh-uh. Um, super strong on the performance, nine and a half for me. Um, and it was just, I don't know. I just did not care for it at all. So if you want this, message me. I'll send it to you. All right. So next, let's go with, um, let's go with these. So this is Walmart Wax a Sensationals Illusion. Um, and it is Cedar Musk and a Touch of Mystery. Now, this is the value pack. So I gave it an honest, honest shot. And um, the first six cubes I used in the bedroom in... Uh, I don't have any better homes and gardens warmers, so I think those warmers get just a little bit hotter than uh, Scentsy warmer, um, so it maybe can release a little bit more fragrance. But what I do have is a Zen Rock warmer, and that puppy is pretty strong. It's a 12 watt warmer, and so it does get you know fairly warm. Um, and I was able to get a little bit of a scent throw from this in the bedroom. Um, let's see here. Four, like a four, four and a half in the bedroom, and I just put this actually yesterday because I need to get rid of this thing um, into the bathroom with the Zen Rock warmer, and in there it's strong. Um, it's actually like a good seven, seven and a half in the bathroom. Again, bathroom is much, much smaller than the bedroom. So, um, yeah, I don't mind this one. It, it's just nice and clean and cologne smelling. Um, yeah, it's not, not too bad. I, I don't necessarily think that I would pick any of this up again just because, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Just because it's, um, I only, I can only use it in one warmer and I don't want to go buy more warm. I don't need warmers, especially warmers that I, I mean, I just don't need warmers. All right. So I don't think that I will be picking up, ugh, my nose is itchy. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't think that I will be picking up any more sensational wax unless it's like amazing, an amazing fragrance, uh, but not bad. Just not, not my jam. Next, also from Walmart, is the Better Homes and Gardens Lime and Eucalyptus. This one I used in the bedroom as well in the Zen Rock Warmer, as it's the only one hot enough to actually melt this. And um, it wasn't bad. It It's definitely, um, uh, it's a pretty strong uh, scent on cold. I It's lime and eucalyptus. I don't have scent notes for this, um, I don't think. No, it's just lime and eucalyptus, um, and it is, uh, for me, I get most, well, not mostly lime, but it is lime heavy with a eucalyptus, um, kind of like hanging out in the background, probably a 60-40 kind of lime to eucalyptus vibe. Um, as far as performance, it was a good six and a half or seven in the Zen Rock Warmer, even in the bedroom, um, so that was really nice. The only thing that I don't like about this wax is that it was like crumbly. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that. It's like this business right here, I'm not, I don't know, uh -uh. I don't want that. Um, it makes a mess everywhere and if you don't, like, you almost have to like break the cubes over a trash can and I just don't, I don't have time for that. I enjoyed the scent but not thrilled about the um, wax consistency itself. All right, moving right along, we're gonna go to Yankee, and I didn't, I don't, I didn't use any Yankee candles. But what I do have is a ginormous bag of wax tarts, and the reason that I have a ginormous bag of them is because when they go on sale for a dollar, I feel like I just have to buy them. Um, I know that I don't care for them. I know that they don't scent well or throw well, but I still, for some reason, you know, shopping, I have shopping problems. Um, I have to get them if, if they're on sale, 50 cents or a dollar, I'm just, I have to. So the first one is um, Mediterranean Breeze. I hope you can read that. I kind of glued them on paper so it would be easier to hold. Mediterranean Breeze, the scent notes, um, Airy Ozone, Blue Surf Accord, Citrus Blossoms, uh, Amber Crystals, Oak Moss, and Driftwood. I honestly don't remember this one at all. I just know that it was like, um, like clean, like a nice clean scent. Um, I wrote down it was a four and a half, but again, I don't really remember it. So yeah, Mediterranean Breeze. 
Next one is a really, really old one that I had. It was from Yankee Candle, Black Coconut. Um, and this one says fruity pineapple, coconut, coconut blossom, powdery notes, wood notes, and musk. This was pretty old. I want to say it was a, maybe three years old or four years old even. Um, I just happened to find find it somewhere. And I was like, oh, well, I better use that because it probably doesn't have any more fragrance oil in it. And I didn't get a scent throw at all from it. Um, so, yeah. Can't review that one. Next is uh, Forbidden Apple. <clears throat> uh, this one's quite a long, um, quite a long, it's got quite, quite a lot of notes, but bergamot, rich pear nectar, um, canyon quince, I don't know what that is or even if I'm saying it right, um, raw sugar, red delicious apple, macintosh, uh, black oak, midnight freesia, dark patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla noir, cedarwood. That is a whole lot for a candle. It is like, or wax malt, um, really, really complex. And unfortunately, I could not smell it at all. Um, it was in my uh, warmer for a good four or five hours never got any kind of a scent throw from it so i'm super sad about that one i generally like apple scents so um yeah i'm i'm a little sad next one is summer storm <clears throat> summer storm is citrus ozonic ozonic i'm assuming that has to do with like air um rosemary eucalyptus oil and patchouli this one is not bad. Um, I don't really remember it. It was probably a two or a three on on throw. Couldn't really smell it too much. Um, I have a candle of it, a really big, you know, a single wick jar candle, tumbler candle. Um, and even then, it's just earthy to me. Uh, I think maybe it's the patchouli. Um, I don't really get any citrus or eucalyptus from it. Um, just more of like an earthy ma masculine scent. So, um, anyway, next is Catching Rays from Yankee, and this actually is one of my favorite fragrances um, from Yankee. It is uh, orange, lavender, rosemary, geranium, amber, cypress, mosk, and musk. Um, it does not smell like orange or any of those notes to me. It really smells just like clean laundry. Um, not like clothesline or clean breeze from Scentsy, but more of just a clean... Um, fresh fragrance and I really 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 like it um, I actually do use their uh, room spray um, for the bathroom so it's, it's really nice but as far as the wax wax went um, not that great of a performer a four and a half and it lasted for maybe a few hours and then I couldn't smell it anymore last from Yankee Candle is Berry Trifle <clears throat> and this one was um, Again, meh. Uh, I wrote down a three for scent throw. Uh, notes, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, vanilla cream, and sugar. I just got like a general kind of a berry vibe. It wasn't um, necessarily the, you know, vanilla cream or the blueberry, strawberries, but it was just like a general kind of a sweet berry vibe. And it didn't last for very long. Again, a, maybe a three, three and a half on scent throw. Um, I'm just not gonna purchase Yankee anymore. I, um, I have. I'm not kidding you. I have a Ziploc bag, a a gallon Ziploc bag full of these little tarts. Um, I think I even have one in here. Yeah, like, you know, I have a, a Ziploc bag full of these. So I really need to stop purchasing them, whether they're on sale or not, because they're just not worth it. Whether you know. <clears throat> whether they're 25 cents or 50 cents or a dollar it doesn't matter if they're not gonna perform like you know what's the point it's just wasting money at that point so anyway um, that is it for non sensi I think so let's go ahead and get into the good stuff and let me get my scent notes up here <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with eucalyptus and this is a bring back my bar from 2018 it was available in the flash sale um, this past July, and I really enjoy eucalyptus scents. It, it is really nice, it's just it doesn't last for very long. So while it's warming, it is a good strong performer at seven and a half. 
um, maybe even an eight, it's just maybe hours later it's gone. Um, I will generally put a cube of this in my warmer before I go to sleep. It will scent my room, and then when I wake up, it's completely gone. The wax, even if you smell the dish, it doesn't smell like anything. It just, it doesn't smell like anything at all. So I'm gonna assume that that's because there is a, a eucalyptus oil in here. A eucalyptus oil is probably something that's gonna not last as long if it's the actual essential oils. So there's my thought on that. Um, Sunzi's description of it was soothing, soothing, medicinal, and fresh. And it is just a true eucalyptus scent. It's really nice. So if you were able to get your hands on this for um, a flash sale or if you have it um, from Bring Back My Bar, let me know how you like it, what your experience is with it, because mine is kind of like, meh. I really like the scent um, and the throw. Initially, it's just once it reaches that, you know, seven, eight, maybe hour warm time, it's just done. <clears throat> so the next one that I have here is Painted Leaves. You guys know how I feel about Painted Leaves. Um, blue Spruce, Red Maple, and Golden Woods. Oh, it's so good. It's like, all right, so imagine you're walking through the woods or forest or whatever. It's like, you know, fall, it's just starting to cool down. It's nice and crisp outside and you can, you know, you feel the leaves under your feet, you hear the noises, the sticks cracking, and it's just like, you can smell like that freshness, that crispness, it's woody. And um, a lot of people say that it smells like wet leaves or damp leaves. And I mean, it kind of does, but not in a like gross, like musty, like gross way. It's just, it's really nice and fresh and crisp, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, I have gone through a couple of these bars since flash sale. Um, these were not available as a markdown. Well, they were on clearance during the flash sale. They weren't actually part of the flash sale, though. And I did pick up quite a few of these, and I'm kind of burning through them. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm getting scared, but that's all right. Um, there's no point in hoarding it. You know, I have to enjoy it. That's why I bought them. So... Next is clove and cinnamon. Clove and cinnamon is cinnamon sticks fused with cloves. And this was pretty strong, eight and a half on performance. And um, yeah, I, it's like the perfect scent to get me just like in the mood to like start moving towards fall. And I actually, what I did was I mixed this with honey pear cider. My um, partner isn't really ready for fall yet. So I decided to mix it with something a little bit more fruity so it wasn't so, like, spicy. Um, and so yeah, clove and cinnamon, really nice performer on its own or as a mixer. Um, so speaking of honey pear cider, I did also warm this one by itself. And this one is pretty good. This was a favorite of mine last year. A nice strong seven and a half. Juicy pear, sweet honey, subtle hints of ginger root, cinnamon, and clove. So... Um, last year I was obsessed with this and this year I don't know I just um, I generally really really like pear scents and so um, this one last year was everything for me this year when I warmed it um, it was just okay I don't know if I'm fully there yet maybe it'll you know maybe it'll change as the the weather cools down a little bit um, but yeah so that was honey pear cider Next, I was actually kind of a ding-dong, and I threw away the clamshell of this one, but I have another bar, so there's it's a full bar. Um, but I did warm this one. It gave me passion flower. I have been warming this one a lot, and oh, it's so good. So it was a good, a strong 9.5, even a 10. Um, very, very, very strong. It since he says passion fruit, fresh cut mango spears, and wild hibiscus. And it is the perfect blend of all of those things. Um, <clears throat> maybe that's why I couldn't figure out what it was. Mango. I really, really like mango. Like, I can eat mango all day long. Like, all day long. And I love mango so much. Anyway, that's... Why am I talking about this? Passion fruit, mango, tropical, like, just goodness. And super strong. I love this so much. If you were able to add it to your club awesome sauce because I'm never ever 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 gonna be without this why did it go away this should like come back forever I mean I have it forever because it's in my club but still like everyone needs to experience that 
Moving along, Caramel Apple Craze. This is the scent of the month for September. Um, it smells good. It's just too sweet for me. Um, it actually gets me, like, right here, and my, like, I just, I, I want to like it so much. Um, very, very strong performer, uh, nine and a half, uh, creamy, golden caramel, red delicious, apples, and whipped vanilla. I don't know what it is, why it's, like, just not agreeing with my nose. It almost smells like, okay, so... On cold, you definitely get ooey gooey caramel and, and apple and just like the slightest little hint of vanilla. But on warm for me, it was like, it smelled like celery salt. And I don't know what, what my nose was doing that day or like, or why it smelled like celery salt, but that's what it smelled like to me. That's how I felt about it. And it gave me a sickening headache. I mean, it was so bad, but if you are a sweets lover or um, if you like caramel scents, pick this up because it really is a great fragrance. It's just for, for my nose and for whatever reason, it just didn't agree with me. My partner loves it so, so much. Um, on cold, on warm, all of it. And so I know it's a good fragrance. It just, it doesn't agree with my nose and I'm really sad about that. Um, all right. So next is Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed is amazing. It is a strong performer at a nine, probably an eight and a half or nine. Um, Macintosh Apple Peels Crisp Pear. This is the kind of apple scent that I am all over. I love this apple scent. And actually, I think even with like a little bit of clove and cinnamon would be amazing. Let's just hold on one moment. Mm-hmm. Like, I think two cubes and one cube, or one cube and a half a cube, um, I don't think a one-to-one -one ratio would do well with it. I just want, like, a little tiny bit of cinnamon, um, but in a different way of, like, apple and cinnamon sticks. Um, but yeah, Johnny Appleseed, amazing. I did add that to my club because it's just, like, fall is apple to me. Apple is fall, not pumpkin. I'm not generally a pumpkin person, so, um... I prefer apple scents. Bless you. The kitty sneezed. All right, moving along. Jammy time. This is something that I just started liking. Strong Performer 8.5, and, and it's uh, listed as Baby Freesia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea. Ugh, it's so nice. It's like the perfect balance of lavender and like that floral, like calming floral but also it's just a little tiny, tiny bit sweet. It's so nice. I really, really like this. I have been using this in the bedroom before I go to sleep and it's just like calming and I love it. Very, very nice. I think I'm gonna actually add that to my club because I just don't wanna forget to order it and then I'll be SOL when I don't have a bar. So this one is one that I'm still working on. The reason that it's in here is because I made samples with it and I warmed a cube. It is churro churro. And um, it is great. Baked pastry and cinnamon sugar. It was a, bleh, sorry. Um, baked pastry, cinnamon sugar, churro churro. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, if you're not like super into bakery scents, it, it's kind of like a nice little, you know, stepping stone to get in, into that category. Um, fair performer, seven, seven and a half, um, very nice, um, introductory, introductory bakery scent. I really do like this one. I think what helps me, um, along with it is the cinnamon that's in it. So pretty much anything with cinnamon I can handle. Um, when it's like blueberry cheesecake or like maybe the caramel apple craze, like I just, for some reason, it just hurts my nose and my stomach. Okay, so a bring back my bar from this July is Quiver. Quiver for me is everything. I'm so, so glad that I added it to my club. Um, when this, when I was, when I first started, I don't know why my nose is so itchy. Oh my God. Blah. We're all sneezing. The cat's sneezing. I'm sneezing. I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, so when I started in 2012, this was a scent in the permanent line. And I remember thinking like, eh, it's okay. I wouldn't buy it to warm, but it's all right. 
And then I got it in dryer discs when those came out. And I fell in love with the scent. Um, it's really romantic. It was in the romantic line, and so it is. It's such a bedroom scent, and it's a pretty strong performer. Oh, it's so good. Eight and, eight and a half. Mm, vanilla flower, warm sandalwood, and so I'm probably saying this wrong. I'm not a great reader. Tuberose or tuberose? I think it's just tuberose. But anyway, um, it is very, very romantic, seductive sultry vanilla flower and warm sandalwood it's really really nice if you haven't tried this i'm so sorry it's no longer available but it is for me because it's in my club all right so next is cider mill cider mill is like the perfect fall even though it has pumpkin and i'm not quite the fan of pumpkin it's really really nice um, so it's a good strong performer at seven and a half fresh apples crushed pumpkin and simmering spices again I can kind of get behind anything that has spices or cinnamon in it Because it just kind of balances out for me for some reason pumpkin it just It smells like squash to me. I mean it is it's squash or a gourd or whatever It's just not like my favorite. I like pumpkin pie scents and stuff like that, but like fresh pumpkin I'm not so much a fan of um this one's really nice. Fresh apples, crushed pumpkin, and simmering spices. It's it's the perfect fall fragrance. It's the perfect blend of all of those things. Last but not least is Pina Colada Cha Cha. Pina Colada Cha Cha was okay for me. It was a five and a half or six on throw. Um, coconut, pineapple, white rum, and vanilla bean. There's like a slight bitterness to this for me, and I don't know. I don't know what it, what it is, which scent note is giving that or doing that to my nose. It's just kind of got like a waxy smell and I don't know that I particularly care for it. I am all over a pina colada drink though. Put that in front of me and it'll be gone in a minute or two. So I really love pina coladas. I generally love pina colada scents, but for some reason this wax to me is translating as waxy. Um, but you do get a coconut note there's a slight pineapple note to it. I don't get any vanilla bean, and maybe it's the white rum that's giving me that bitter note, but um, not horrible. It's just not, not one that I'm gonna reach for all the time. So one last thing that I have been using like crazy, and it is a Scentsy product. It is Scentsy Fresh in aloe water cucumber, and holy mackerel, this is perfect. Aloe water and cucumber is like the perfect scent to me. It is, I actually, I didn't prepare for this. Um, aloe water, cucumber peel, and palm frond, oh, palm frond and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. Um, it's really nice. It's just a nice, fresh, clean scent. I've been spraying this all over my drapes or these little shears, and um, oh, it's so good. I love this so much. It's just nice and clean and fresh and just like you just cleaned everything. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today. I think I'm just quickly taking a glance around at all of the crap that's on my desk and I think we're good. So I will just end it with this. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're well.